What's up my comic comrades? As many of you know, I personally love talking about objects and weapons in comics, and today we're doing just that by talking about the origin of what is easily one of the strongest weapons in all of comics, the Ultimate Nullifier. The Ultimate Nullifier first appeared in Fantastic Four issue 50 in May of 1966. It was created by none other than Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. The Ultimate Nullifier is a small silver handheld device that looks like something you would use to oil a lawnmower from the 1950s. But in actuality, it's a device that could eliminate anything from existence that it's wielder chooses. But it's not as simple as that. If the user doesn't have the proper control power or concentration, then the ultimate nullifier will destroy its user and most likely the universe itself. And while we don't necessarily know how the ultimate nullifier came into existence, we do know that it's an aspect of Galactus himself. Which makes this next piece of information pretty interesting. The ultimate nullifier is the only known object to ever inspire fear into Galactus. Which is kind of weird because if this weapon is a piece or aspect of him, in a weird way, does that mean Galactus is scared of himself? There's definitely some psychology you can dive into with that one, which is one of the many reasons I love comics so much. Often we take stuff at face value, but if you really dig and think, you can uncover some interesting things on why writers and artists did what they did. Anyway, when Mr. Fantastic was able to get a hold of the Ultimate Nullifier in Fantastic Four issue 50, and then threatened to use it against Galactus if he didn't stop his charge on devouring Earth, Galactus said this. The ultimate nullifier in the hands of a human, in the name of the eternal cosmos, put it down. Your feeble mind cannot begin to comprehend its power. You hold the means to destroy a galaxy, to lay waste to the universe. So quite literally, this weapon had Galactus trembling in his big purple space booties. Now, if you're wondering how Mr. Fantastic was able to get the ultimate nullifier, well, Johnny Storm, with the help of the Watcher, was sent to the world ship, aka Galactus's planet. While there, he was able to retrieve the ultimate nullifier and bring it back to Earth, giving it to Reeds to use against Galactus. But if you want to know more about how all that went down, we covered it in our History of Galactus episode, which you can check out right here. The Nullifier was also used in one of the most famous Marvel stories of all time, the Infinity Gauntlet. In this story, the character Quasar was able to get his hands on it and sought to use it against Magus. But it didn't work out as Magus at the time was wielding an incomplete Infinity Gauntlet empowered by the Living Tribunal. So he was able to just take the Nullifier out of his hand and turn it on Quasar. In short, the Ultimate Nullifier has been used several times over the years in the 616 Marvel Universe, but even in alternate realities and crossover events, such as the Earth X trilogy where Thanos used it to kill Death. The short of it is, they were fighting, and Thanos being Thanos was like, not today, you're going night-night, permanently. We even see the Nullifier in the JLA Avengers crossover. In said crossover, the Justice League and the Avengers are going after 12 items of power, 6 from each universe. They are doing so to save their respective universes, because whoever can do so first, wins. Long story short, the Grand Master approached the Justice League and tells them that the Ultimate Nullifier is one of the great 6 items of power from the Marvel Universe. The other 5 being the Casket of Ancient Winters, the Wand of Watum, the Evil Eye of Avalon, the Infinity Gems, and the Cosmic Cube. Anyway, funny enough, the Ultimate Nullifier is the first item the League is able to collect. Batman grabs it and asks Martian Manhunter if he can tell him what it is. He says, of course, I'll just probe it with my mind, and then starts to say, this device, the power in it alone, could destroy an entire universe. In fact, the power is so great, while probing it, Manhunter's face inadvertently starts to shapeshift as the power of the nullifier is overwhelming him. So even for powerhouses in DC, this weapon is no joke. But now let's cap this episode with talking about its power a little more. The ultimate nullifier has the ability to completely eliminate whatever the wielder chooses, as I mentioned earlier. But what I didn't really mention, or at least get into detail on, is that in the hands of an extremely powerful mind, this thing could wipe out entire timelines, like obliterate. But besides just destroying things, if your mind is powerful enough, you could also recreate and reshape an entire infinite multiverse. We're talking about rewriting the multiverse ground up in your own image if the wielder so chooses. And to think, this weapon only came in number three on our most powerful weapons in the Marvel Universe episode. If you want to see what two items beat it out, check it out right here. But there you have it, our brief rundown of the ultimate nullifier. Hopefully this made you understand a little better what exactly this weapon is and what it could do and how it came to be. Again, unfortunately, there's not too much backstory to this weapon, but alas, many things in comics are like that, like the Joker's origin. But as always, let us know what your thoughts are and what comic book weapon episodes you'd like to see down in the comments. And just like that, that brings today's episode to a close. But if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to check out our most powerful weapons in the Marvel Universe episode right here. And if you like the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.